Oh, so you listen? You listen to it? I did. Okay, so let me let me have let, I'm, I'm, yes, let me yes. Have, set, yes, set it up for everybody. Set it up. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm actually surprised Kevin Hart has a good podcast. Uh, comedy Goldmine or whatever it's called, a Goldmine comedy. It's some. He's it's on YouTube. It's on his uh, LOL network. It's on satellite radio, whatever. He's interviewing comedians, and he actually has a. I've listened to a couple. One with Amanda Seals, uh, Martin. I've listened to several. He did one I didn't know of Monique a couple weeks ago. So I was like, I need to hear this to hear what she's saying. The interview with Monique was actually a good interview. Although I think there was maybe once or twice he kind of was blowing smoke to clear his name from her fire. But overall, it was a damn good interview. My thing is, and I ask you this, then I'll get my side. What does anybody owe her? Because she was on the stance that someone should have came to her behalf when she was going through it. Where in the books does it say anybody got to come to anybody's side? Because Kevin Hart said point blank, I didn't know what was going on, so I stayed out of it. How come everybody else can't have that same stance? What gives her the audacity to think you, you, and you, and you supposed to come speak up when I'm supposed to protect me? But yet, let y'all tell it. You a woman, let me do my thing. I don't need protection. So why all of a sudden he got to protect you? I don't understand that. When you on this hear me roar, I don't get it. Now I get the movie got sold and you was told you had uh, 5% ownership in the movie. That's on you for not enforcing that with Lee Daniels. That's on business is business. I love you like a big brother. If this shit take off, we getting contracts because it's what still a business, right? Because I don't want business to end to mess up our brotherhood. So we go sit down, write a contract. You know, I expect you to get more than me because this is you. I'm just a talking head. I know my role, my lane, but we'll have contracts to break that down. But her to think that he made what she say what fifty three mil extra, and she waiting on her payday. What I need to pay you for if I ain't got it in there right? I ain't got to give you nothing. We ain't shook yeah. on it. We ain't had no verbal agreement. We ain't had nothing. But and you know what? Say, go ahead. I agree with you 100% on everything you done said. I'm going to take it a step further. Yes, the contract she had was with Lee Daniels. Once he sold the movie, the contract is null and void. Now, it is on her to go to the new owners and re-up the contract or try to get something out of the deal. If you don't do that, you don't do that. And if they ask you to promote the movie, don't go be like, well, I done already did my part. Because right there, you messed up. Because her thing is, she's saying that she already did her part and she doesn't understand why she's been blackballed. I was you, when you mess with the suits in Hollywood, whether it be one, two, or ten, everybody will know it. If you don't play the game, everybody will know it. And you will not be allowed in certain circles because you will have a reputation for not doing what you're told, not doing what you're asked to do. Here's where she dropped the ball, in my opinion. You said you had to deal with Lee Daniels. You were signed to his production company for that movie. You got paid 50000 and that and you did all the promo so what she did do when the movie got sold to Lionsgate it did what it did they wanted to take it overseas they wanted you to go overseas they wanted you to go for a month but you said no because you weren't going to be making any money here's where you showing you have no worth you're a comedian do comedians not tour overseas Yes, they do. You can go together a tour over there for that month to make money. Exactly. Is, if I bring you for a month, I got to bring you, your husband, your stylist, your hairdresser, your, your makeup person. So it went from me paying you 
to paying all them because I'm going to have to pay you to pay them. So therefore, your tag for promotion just ballooned up. I don't have to pay if I don't want to because we never got a contract. Common sense would tell you if I'm signing, if the movie's going to a bigger situation, I need to get in on that because you're going to want me to do more. So if you want me to do more, I need another 50, another 100. And for you to say, Tyler offered you half a mil and you said you didn't want his money, you want his apology, which one is it? Because you're saying you didn't get no money. You're saying it stopped you from making money. This man's trying to solve your problem. Well, well this, is where, this is where I have the question. What is she mad at Tyler for? Because apparently Tyler said that she was difficult to work with. But see, what she failed to remember, when her talk show got canceled on BET, BET said she was hard to work with. Said her some of her demands once she got that Oscar was ridiculous. And my thing is, you talking about it stopped you from 11 years from working? Bullshit. That, that ain't stopped you from working. You was on tour not too long ago. You stopped yourself. This just happened a few years ago. So that, that ain't stopped you. Uh, you had a claim from Roscoe Jenkins. You didn't capitalize on it. How you go blame them for it? Go so talking about everybody in the room told you secretly, I don't blame you, I don't blame you. Then that nerd go after Steve Harvey. Steve had you on his show, and he talked to you directly. He wasn't hiding, but you're going to say, I can't believe my brother Steve. He had you on his show talking to you. But it's just, I think, this. And when she made the comment about she wasn't comparing men and women or whatever, uh, when you, with the whole Netflix thing, you went after, um, what's the white girl? The, the white girl was the comedian. When that didn't work, then you went after Dave and them to try to get money. So you did make the comparison. It wasn't them. So it's just like Kevin Hart used his platform to let her talk again. And it was just a lot of bullshit she was saying. Because if I go to, if I commit a crime tomorrow and I'm in court there and I need character witnesses, you don't have to testify if you don't want to. I can't make you do that. So it's just like, well, she waiting on somebody to come, you know, be that hero and Oh, no, this is the Monique I know. People ain't going to jeopardize what they got when they don't know what's going on and they know you're a hothead. Hell, on top of that, your husband don't help none. But it's like, I give Kevin Hart props. I'm like, he going to try to put something together. I wouldn't do it. If I were to say, I need you to be there, you only need him to be there because you need him to check you because you're going to fly off the handle. You too damn grown back and so damn immature. I agree. I mean, from everything I heard during their conversation, first of all, she's not blackballed. No. I mean, she could get a job if she didn't have ridiculous demands and she wasn't as hard to work with. I would venture so far as to say if she became the Monique pre Oscar win she would be much easier to work with than the Monique of today. And the only person that's stopping her from achieving her goals and getting back in the game is her. Well, see, that's where I got to somewhat disagree with you, bro. Because my thing is, and I look at it like this, who, when does she have a career? She was a comedian. We've seen her own stuff. But what about her acting made her, we got to get her? Uh, uh, but you see, that, that, I, I agree with you on that. But see, where uh, I'm coming from, I'm coming from a smarter angle. Because if it was me, first of all, if Tyler Perry offered me half a mil, I'm, I'm going to parlay that into something down the line, some other type of business venture. Yeah. I would like to get another project off the ground and then let those snowball. Yeah. But see, what I'm, what I'm saying is... She didn't do that. What about her resume warrants to where everybody needs to work with you? If you think pressure's off her resume and Roscoe Jenkins, name something else that stands out. 
yeah, we're going to be sitting here waiting for a minute. Exactly. Because other than stand up, I can't remember any other movies. Uh, Look at Parker, Charm School, um, and what other movies she's been in with that one Fat Beach or whatever. Ain't none of that was, oh my God, we need to know. And Verga talking about they only want to see the movie because two big black women. That's not. That, that's case. that's the other thing I want to say. Her size ain't got nothing to do with it. I ain't got nothing to do with that at all. It was actually great. I've never seen it because it bored me the concept. It well, a lot of people told me it was actually a good movie. Had nothing to do with size, a good movie. And what she failed to realize, and everybody know, a lot of pieces like that, movies like that, they go to film festivals in order to get into theaters. So that's no surprise. We've seen a lot of movies like, hell, Dave Chappelle got a documentary from when he did all that shit this past summer that's been going to film festivals. And he had studios bidding for it until this little incident happened. But yeah, he was taking that to festivals. That's how a lot of movies that are not action movies, that's what they got to do in order to get in the theaters. You got to take them to these festivals and somebody buys it. It's just like her ignorance is ridiculous. But, you know, when you let your husband be a manager, I'll never know nothing. And you just, you, you know what I'm saying? You trying to hit your wagon him like he going to do it. It's like ignorance plus ignorance equals failure. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> the saga will continue for her. Either she will get wise or she's just going to become old and bitter. Sadly, I don't think it's going to get better because she ain't. That's another thing, like, uh, I remember Breakfast Club said it before. You won Best Supporting Actress or whatever. So you got money coming in off of that. Pay your own damn special, then sell it. That's what the hell Gary Owen do all the time. All Let's his see. specials, he's done himself, then he sells them to Showtime. And that's, that's, what what I, that's what I'm thinking she could have did with that Tyler Perry money right there. Yo, because you're going to spend about 100, 125000 You're going to make that backhand over fist. Her to make the comment talking about what Whoopi gets, but then you fell to re- you said Whoopi's the most decorated. Whoopi put in her stripes. She's at a point where she don't need a, a major payday. She just need good money. She don't need to have that $20, $30 million payday. You give her 10, she's good because of where she is in her life. So you can't compare the two. And for her to take shots like that, I was like, that. You tearing down your own people for yourself and it's not benefiting. And you wonder why I'm about, these are people I walk the stage with. They only go want to be bothered if you on the if your mind is right. And your mind ain't right. Well, because people aren't helping you see the way you feel, you just blacklisting them all. Which is stupid. Yeah. Unfortunately, some people are just by nature confrontational. And it ain't nothing you can do about it. That is true. Thank you.